Alright, what's up everybody? It's Reclaimer and welcome back to another Arena Tips video. Today we're going over a Eden Strongholds game and this is going to be a little bit of a different dynamic. As you can see, I am playing with the Chaotic Squad, um, the same team that I went to St. Louis with, uh, minus Tyler plus Justin. So this is the squad that we played in the tournament with the other day. Uh, I posted, <clears throat> I think it was two days ago. I posted the uh, tournament highlights video that was with this team. This is one of the games that we played in the tournament, but like I said, I know I've used some, some tournament gameplays in this series, but everything that I say can be applied to Arena because obviously it's the same settings, same games, same maps, all that stuff. But this is going to be a little bit of a different dynamic because obviously this is not a live commentary like the first couple episodes were. And then with the third episode, I went over a film of a game that I had just played that very same night, I'm pretty sure. And this is a game that I haven't played for three or four days, so we are kind of beginning to going over it again sort of and I'm gonna be because obviously I don't remember a whole lot of stuff that happened in this game but we're gonna be kind of seeing it for the first time sort of if that makes any sense so we're gonna go over this and uh, Eden strongholds is is sort of a difficult map to go over because Eden is one of the is one or probably the most difficult map to uh, to not only play but to play well so uh, the reason for that is because we have overshield in pit, we have camo in tower, and then rockets outside. So that is a lot of things to keep track of, a lot of things to remember. But uh, as you guys can see, breakouts are obviously really important, and I end up making a huge mistake right here. So what I'm normally used to doing is flying for the overshield, especially on red spawn. We were like second seed in this tournament, so we ended up getting the red spawn. Uh, because a uh, higher seed normally gets the red spawn. So uh, normally, what your normal breakout will see is normally like two overshield, two camo, which is what we ended up doing. But uh, I was used to going for overshield, so I end up playing for overshield with Dallas uh, when I was supposed to be going tower. And so Justin makes a good play and ends up redirecting to go tower. So you can see Cole is nading here. Uh, just some easy nades on these guys because the blue guys send... Uh, where's, where's their fourth guy? Yeah, so it looks like they're kind of sending, they're sending like one tower, or maybe, yeah, like two tower, one top cat, and then one contesting over shield. So a little bit of a weird breakout, but see, I mess up. And so I immediately redirect here to go top cat because there's only one guy going for the over shield to contest Dallas. So unfortunately it doesn't work out because their spawn nades end up hitting and killing Dallas. So... I end up making sort of a bad play here, which allows them to get overshield. Or well, I say sort of a bad play. It was it was a bad play, and they end up getting overshield out of this because uh, Dallas was not able to get it. So immediately, three of us are in tower, and we're gonna try to fight to get camo. So nobody has camo yet, and Justin is weak. So this guy's weak too. So we're kind of in like they're kind of in like a weird standoff position. Uh, so basically, our, the number one priority right now is to get control. Uh, we we want to try to outslay them. It's a, it's a 3v3 right now. They have overshield. Uh, we want to try our very best to either get the camo or burn it. And then we want to absolutely put like as much damage down as possible on the overshield guy and melt him. So the last thing to worry about, which I think is probably number three priority, when you're talking about uh, power-ups and power weapons, especially on Eden Strongholds, like for this scenario in particular, I think rockets are probably the last thing you want to go for the the least important thing on this map uh, you want to get control of OS and camo first so we're just gonna try to slay out here let me see can I how do you come on there we go okay so I end up getting weak and having to drop and I see that the OS is gone so we are now in a 4v3 and I think we are moving to capture catwalk Dallas is gonna to move to capture red nest and uh, we're in a pretty good position here because they are getting blue with overshield and they haven't grabbed their rockets yet so I decided to make a play for rockets but that was kind of a, that was that was a really dumb play and I'm gonna tell you guys why there were two guys capping blue bend and I decided to fly for the rocket launcher I thought that maybe I could get behind them uh, without them seeing me or maybe I could go fast enough to the point where I could get rockets and then put shots down or my, my plan was to grab the rockets and immediately go for the overshield guy because rockets will melt the overshield guy uh, because obviously you're shooting rockets at him but uh, but I end up flying and 
and dying right on the rocket launcher, which causes Dallas to be drawn out of position, which puts him in a really bad spot because now he's fighting essentially a one-on-two. The second guy kind of backed up, but he's fighting essentially a one-on-two here, and uh, rockets are down. So that is what I've sort of been telling you guys, and, and obviously the one guy here is the overshield guy, but... Uh, I've told you guys before with uh, with like flag poles and and stuff is you never want to like fly for it you always want to bait it so you always want to sit back for a second throw some grenades at it and try to win your gunfights first before you fly for it and so right there I didn't do that and as you guys can see it cost me it got me killed and it's probably going to get Dallas killed here because he obviously is going to have a lot of trouble trying to fight the overshield guy from a disadvantageous position. And, uh, and even if he does manage to win that fight, in, which is such a downhill battle, he's got to worry about the rocket launchers and obviously getting control of the stronghold. So, if we look over here at Cole and Justin, they've just captured Top Cat. Where did Justin go? Did Justin die? Okay, Justin died. So Cole's now probably going to die in Top Cat because there's a guy pretty much full shields, uh, Red Cat. So what we want to do here, because nobody's captured Red Nest yet, they have Blue, we have Cat. We want to do our best to play our lives, stay alive. Uh, get kills and then make a play for either red or blue. So as you guys can see, we end up going three dead there. Uh, Dallas ends up getting killed by the overshield guy, which we knew was going to happen. And I immediately off spawn, try to make a play for catwalk, and we end up make, doing a pretty good job of contesting. I get a pretty good nade kill on this guy, and then I think yeah, so we we get three dead there. I, I had some help uh, from teammates, so catwalk got stopped. So Justin is just worrying about red nest, uh, so they end up getting the stop on that, and then Dallas goes for the touch to get the reset, so pretty good stuff so far, even though we had sort of a messy start, a couple misplays by me, and uh, and we sort of, with, with the messy start, we managed to pull it together through just good team play, team shotting, and, and moving together, so you guys can see me and Cole immediately push for the trip cap here, because, see, this is kind of, this is a, a good play because it wastes a lot of their time. If you look right here, we have Top Cat and Red Nest, so you only have two, you only have to have two strongholds to be scoring in strongholds, and as you guys can see, me and Cole immediately fly for the last stronghold, and so the blue team either has to decide to give up a trip cap and try to get slays and go for a different one, or they have to all fly and try to stop us. Either way, it wastes time and we get more points in the process, so that's a really good play. You'll see pro teams do that a lot. Uh, and it, it really doesn't matter what map you're on. It's, it could be Empire, it could be Rig, whatever. Rig is a little bit different, and we'll talk about that as we as we cover Rig strongholds at some point. But uh, but for this map in particular, and for maps like Empire, which is the remix version of this map, uh, it it tends to work very well. So it wastes a lot of time, and we end up jumping out to a to a pretty good lead because of it. So I get a trade, and see even if Cole doesn't cap this, see a lot of people worry about have like having to cap it. And Cole really doesn't have to do anything here. We pushed it, and that's enough. Uh, the fact that we push it and we draw three enemy players back to blue when they already have it just wastes so much time. And obviously, Strongholds being a time-based uh, game mode, uh, that just that just adds more and more to our favor. So there's really there's really nothing you can do wrong here. If either you win the battles and see, even though it's close, it's it just doesn't really matter. So either you win the battles and you get even more points on top of it and puts the blue team in an even worse position, or you just draw them all back to you and it still wastes a decent amount of time. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, you'd like to cap it, but it doesn't really matter. So uh, what they end up doing is they don't get in in time and Cole ends up capping it. I don't know. I think somebody, I think somebody actually got to it before. I might have gotten there. Yeah. So see, I or er, that, that, no, that's my body from before. So he just managed to cap it, which is, which is uh, really really good that we ended up getting that so they're immediately going to try to refocus and capture blue but they make a really weird play I don't really understand why they did this they immediately try to go top cat to help their third teammate and I don't know why they had two guys in blue and we went two or three dead yeah so this is a pretty much a for sure cap for them on blue and there's only one guy obviously you guys can see Justin right there that can contest top cat so they end up flying uh, to top cat and leaving blue entirely, which I'm not really sure why they did that. But as you guys can see right here, uh, I go to contest top cat. I don't think we end up getting the stop, as you guys can see, but I think somebody ends up flying for blue band, which is, which is pretty good. So we end up getting the kills and immediately getting right back into it. So we have this caps now, and we're just putting shots down. See, the thing that people don't understand when you have a two cap, and I'm sorry to keep pausing this, but uh, I, I just really want to go in depth with this in particular, because this is something that I see a lot. We have them all trapped outside. We have a two cap. There are times when you could push for the triple cap, like you saw at the beginning of the game. Uh, at the beginning of the game, when me and Cole both pushed Blue Bend, that was a really good time to push for a triple cap because they were all coming off spawn, and uh, 
we had numbers advantage, we had stronghold advantage, uh, and and it would is it was just a good play all around because like obviously we talked about the the whole the whole time wasting thing. But right here, it is a four on four. Every single person on the map is alive right now. There are no power weapons. There are no power ups involved in this uh, in this play right here. Obviously, OS and Camo have already been burned. Rockets are out. All four of them are trapped outside. They are going to try to make a rotation play from Blue Bend to Red Nest. We have a two cap. Basically, all we have to do here is stay alive and block spawns. We don't have to challenge anything because obviously with a time-based game mode such as Strongholds, the more time that they spend trying to kill us and the more time that we make it harder for us to die is just more points that are racking up for our team. So this is something that I see a lot of people do while on a two cap that really isn't that good of a play. And as you guys can see, Dallas is, Dallas is kind of out here, but it's, it's not his fault. He's, he's kind of getting pushed by the entire team here, but... Uh, when you have a two cap, just try to focus on playing your life more. Like hide in a corner, play it slow. You don't have to run out and try to challenge everything because honestly, it's not that beneficial, and and it really, it really won't help you all that much in in the long run. And it's it's more beneficial, obviously, to like I said, stay alive and and play your life. And see right here, uh, I get the call that this this is an appropriate time to to try to rotate because I get the call that there are three or four pushing outside to red. So I try to make a play on blue, but unfortunately I end up uh, that gunfight was really sort of a trade. So I try to contest red nest. I think Dallas made the call to like throw nades at it, but I didn't have any. So basically they're gonna get a two cap out of this most likely. Uh, we all die, but uh, Cole manages to cap red nest because we killed him out of it. So basically. This, this is another crucial time uh, around the 10 minute mark because both the overshield and the camo and the rockets are all going to come up again. So I try to make a sort of a hero play on red nest. I end up getting one and getting the other guy one shot, but don't end up cleaning them up. So they are most likely going to get a triple cap out of this and they do. So let's talk about what happens when you get, when you get trip capped. So obviously we're going to make plays on overshield and camo. You guys already know this. We've talked about this a lot. What you want to do is try to either get it for yourself or burn it. So if you can't have it, nobody have just think about that. But and also, something that I didn't mention, which I want to cover real quick, is if you guys didn't know, uh, power weapons are every two minutes after you pick them up. So if you pick it up at 9.52, it's going to spawn again at 7.52. Just to make that clear, I don't know if I ever covered that, and some people might be confused about that. That's how spawn timers work in uh, Halo 5. In Halo 3, for instance, uh, especially box Halo 3, it was it was a little bit more complicated because weapons had to be dirtied uh, and and it just it was it was a lot more it was a lot more difficult to try to remember all that, but. Uh, in Halo 5, it's relatively simple. So, like, the snipers every three minutes, rockets every two minutes, I think is correct. Uh, but, uh, obviously, that's not as difficult because it just pops up. So, right here, as you, can, as you guys can see, we have a two cap, and we're just putting shots down. But, sort of, just to talk about, and this is not related to any uh, anything in particular, any specific scenario. When you're getting trip capped, uh, you want to do your best to stay alive and to get one as a team. So uh, a lot of people will try to immediately hop the stronghold that they spawn closest to off spawn, especially on Empire because Empire is a very rotation based map. Um, they'll try to hop the first one that they spawn at and if you are spawning solo, because you get a lot of split spawns sometimes in strongholds, if you spawn solo and immediately try to capture something by yourself, uh, if you have a smart team that rotates uh, that rotates fairly well, you're probably not going to get it. Uh, you, you guys have heard a lot of people talk about this. Towie is a really good person to go to, or well, I say to go to, to, to watch and, and to listen and talk about all these kind of things. Solo capping almost never works unless you're playing a team that's like not paying attention or like not trying or something like that. Solo capping almost never works. So obviously, and this is how it works in most games, uh, when you capture things as a team, the more people you have in the stronghold, the more people you have in the capture point, the faster it's going to go. So you always want to try to capture something as a team, move as a team, team shot, and that's that's really your best chance of trying to get out of that. So, for instance, when you're like solo queuing, uh, the the best thing to do would be to literally follow your teammates. If you spawn at a base by yourself, try to play your life, try to play a corner. It is okay to waste time, or I say waste time, it is okay to take time to make a better play than try to move too fast because even though when you are getting trip capped when you're getting two capped whatever it may be you are losing points uh it is more beneficial to wait give up a few points and then make a organized push with your teammates that has a much higher like success uh probability than to just try to desperate things over and over again because uh desperating is, is not an actual word but it's a term you'll hear in halo a lot uh, and it's always more beneficial to play the more calm, the more collected type of gameplay. So always just keep those things in mind. So right now we have a triple cap. 
So uh, we tried to just collapse on everybody in the blue base. And collapsing is 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 very important also. When, when you have a numbers advantage, uh, you will see whenever it's like a four on four and one team gets one pick, they will immediately fly and challenge the other guys together. Because when you have a numbers advantage, obviously there are more shots in your favor. There's more shots going towards the enemy players. So when you go together and when you fly together, uh, you, you guys can notice when a, a really a really good team knows when to play passive and when to play aggressive. So right here, obviously we're playing very aggressive. We're rotating the other team very uh, fairly hard, and it's it's kind of stopped now. And and I almost I almost get world starred right there. I end up saving it, but just barely. But uh, a fast team knows when to play aggressive and when to play passive. Like I said, so. Uh, you just gotta know it's 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 a lot about discipline. It's a lot about uh, keeping keeping a cool head because Halo Halo especially more than more than a lot of other games is a very mental game. It's a it's super super mental based. Uh, you have to know when to do certain things and when not to. There's a lot of things to remember. Like I said, uh, so so that that is pretty much it. I think we end up just holding this and winning, but uh, that that's sort of Eden Strongholds in an, in a nutshell. Uh, I know I kind of rambled on about a couple of different things, but Basically, the things that I want to take that I want you guys to take away from are uh, are obviously the the baiting thing again. Uh, you guys saw I made that dumb play in the beginning where I just kind of flew uh, for the rockets and ended up dying, giving up a death, and we ended up giving up the rockets uh, as a result and going too dead. Uh, make sure you play with your team. Know when to play passive. Know when to play aggressive. Uh, rotations, obviously, and uh, you know, just more. More calm, more disciplined gameplay overall will help you in the long run. So that is going to do it for this edition of my Arena Tips series. I hope that this will help you out. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the more analytical side. I know I got a lot of comments saying that people prefer this over the live commentaries. I'll probably uh, still do uh, a couple of them uh, for different game types, but uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing this analysis. I like that I'm able to uh, go over a theater match and, and talk about all these things. Uh, so... That is going to do it for this edition of Arena Tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found at least some of the information valuable. I hope this that this helps you out in some way. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Likes are appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later.